how safe a car is or isn't in the event of an accident is, or at least should be, an important factor for anyone buying a new car. And thanks to major leaps in vehicle technology over the last half century, any car today is eminently safer than one from 40, 30, 20, or even 10 years ago. To determine how safe our cars really are, we of course rely on crash test ratings. There are nine testing bodies currently around the world devoted to testing the safety of new cars, with perhaps the most well-known being Euro NCAP in Europe, ANCAP in Australia and New Zealand, and both NHTSA and the IIHS in North America. These days, most cars manage a high rating, managing a four or five star in crash test ratings, or in the case of the IIHS, a recommended top safety pick or top safety pick plus. This week, the Audi e-tron became the latest car to enter that latter hall of fame, earning itself a top safety pick plus award from the IIHS, thanks to its high ratings across the board. It is, says Audi, the first battery electric vehicle to earn a top safety pick plus rating. And it's also the first time in a while that another electric automaker has laid down the gauntlet for Tesla and its Model 3, a car that is still undergoing testing at the hands of the IIHS, but which hasn't yet received its official crash test rating. So what did the e-tron do that other electric cars haven't yet? How does this compare to ratings for SUVs from other electric automakers? specifically the Tesla Model X. And what does this mean for other automakers looking to earn the same award? To earn the 2019 IIHS Top Safety Pick Award, an automaker has to achieve a good rating in driver side small overlap front, moderate overlap front, side, roof strength, and head restraint tests. It also needs an acceptable or good rating for the passenger side small overlap front test, acceptable or good headlight ratings, or advanced or superior rating for front crash prevention. To earn the 2019 Top Safety Pick Plus Award, all of those same tests have to earn a good rating with advanced or superior rating for front crash prevention. Front crash prevention, if you're interested, refers to technology designed to prevent your car from actually having a crash in the first place, which covers everything from adaptive cruise control and emergency automatic braking systems through to systems designed to detect other non-automotive road users. As to what Audi did differently to other car companies, well, that is a little harder to note, since not all electric cars on sale today have received IIHS safety ratings. If that all sounds a bit bizarre, then let me explain. While most car buyers today do use the IIHS safety ratings alongside the NHTSA's crash test rating, and the IIHS actually predates NHTSA's crash tests, not every car from every automaker gets tested every year. Instead, both agencies tend to focus on between 80 and 150 different cars per year, and they tend to focus on new model cars that haven't been on sale before. In other words, they're not going to test a 2019 model year car that's essentially the same as a car that came to market in 2017. They'll only retest a car if it's received a major overhaul in its design and underpinnings, or it adds some not yet seen or tested safety feature. Small side note here, even cars that are new models may not be tested immediately if they're actually based on another vehicle placed on the same platform the more you know. Before we get into the weeds, though, there are some things about the e-tron that did help it earn that impressive score. First is the honeycomb lattice inside the car's battery pack that helps protect individual battery cells by dissipating any crash impact energy around the cells rather than through them. Then there's the car's matrix LED headlights, which give it an edge on many other cars on sale today. Matrix LED lights have been a strong point for Audi now for some time. And while you might think that LED headlights are always going to fare better than non-LED ones, then think again. Excessive glare is a thing and the IIHS will mark a car down if its headlights exhibit that problem, LED or not. Advanced emergency braking also helped with the e-tron's ratings, with a front-mounted camera forming an integral part of Audi's so-called PreSense front system. It was that system which the IIHS said completely prevented a collision in a 25 miles per hour crash avoidance test and the same system that slowed the car to one mile per hour before impact in a 12 miles per hour crash test. 
Of course, there are other features in the e-tron that help it, just like other EVs too, when it comes to crash testing. The first and the most obvious one is all the space at the front of the car, which can be devoted to deformation of energy. Then there's the low centre of gravity, which is a real help in any stability or rollover tests. But let's get to the elephant in the room, the Tesla Model X, a car which was the first full-size SUV ever to earn a full five-star rating from NHTSA in its crash tests. The IIHS hasn't yet tested Model X, and the e-tron doesn't appear on NHTSA's crash testing system either, so we can't do a apples to apples comparison. However, expect a NHTSA crash test soon, and when it does arrive, we'll be able to see how the e-tron fares against what must be its nearest rival. What we can tell you, however, is that the IIHS has tested previous model years of the Model S, and in 2017, the Model S earned good scores in most of its crash tests. However, it lost marks in the small overlap front driver side test, which is notoriously difficult to pass, the headlight test and the child seat latch ease of use system. And as more and more automakers start to include features that were once premium options as standard fit items, especially things that are passive and active safety systems, we're going to see more and more cars earn ever higher ratings on their crash tests. The Audi e-tron is currently the king of the IIHS test ratings for electric vehicles. It's going to be really interesting to see which automaker takes its crown. And while there are some kudos to being top, the most important thing to remember is something else. A rising sea raises all ships, and that means safer cars for everyone. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell, and if you'd like to help us make more of these shows, please do consider sending a dollar or two our way every month through Patreon, buy us a coffee using Ko-fi, or visit our merch store. I'll be back soon with another episode, but until then, keep evolving.